everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to discuss a problem from partial fractions. Let's get started. Problem. Resolve. x square by x minus 1 into x minus 2 into partial fractions. Okay. So let us consider the fraction x square by x minus 1 into x minus 2 plus p of x by q of x so the degree of p of x is 2 and the degree of a q of x is also 2 okay so here degree of p of x equals to degree of q of x from this we can say that the given fraction is an Improper fraction. Okay. So we are given an improper fraction. Right. Now coming to the problem. Consider the improper fraction x squared by x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, in the numerator, you are having x square, and in the denominator, you are having x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, consider the denominator x minus 1 into x minus 2. Let's simplify it. x into x, x square, x into minus 2, minus 2x, x into minus 1, minus x, minus into minus plus, 2 into 1, 2. So, this is equals to x square minus 3x plus 2. So, here what we have to do is, we have to write the numerator in terms of x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So, how we are going to write this? Let's see. Firstly, I am going to write x square minus 3x plus 2. The quadratic expression or the polynomial. And this is also x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. Here, in the numerator, we have to get only x square. Since we are given x square in the numerator. But we are having minus 3x plus 2 additionally. So, what we have to do? We have to balance it. How you can balance? So, add plus 3x and subtract minus 2 okay so minus 3x and plus 3x gets cancelled plus 2 and minus 2 gets cancelled finally you'll get x square right which remains the same okay so you want only x square in the numerator for this what you'll do you'll add plus 3x minus 2 This remains the same. Okay. Fine. So, this is equals to x square minus 3x plus 2 plus 3x minus 2 by x square minus 3x plus 2. Here, what I am going to do is, I am going to split it into two terms x square minus 3x plus 2 plus 3x minus 2. I'll consider it as one term and 3x minus 2 as another term. So, this equals to x square minus 3x plus 2 by x square minus 3x plus 2 plus 3x minus 2 by x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So, here it gets cancelled. So, this equals to 1 plus 3x minus 2 by x square minus 3x plus 2. Okay. But we know that x square minus 3x plus 2 is x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, this equals to 1 plus 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 
two. Okay. So finally, we can write x square. We can write x squared by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to 1 plus 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay. So, let us consider it as equation 1. So, we are considering it as 1. Okay. Now, let us take this second term. Let 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals 2. Since this is a proper fraction. See, here the degree of p of x is 1 and the degree of q of x. x minus 1 into x minus 2. x into x is x square. So, it is clear that the degree of Q of x is 2, degree of P of x is 1. So, degree of P of x is less than degree of Q of x, which is a proper fraction. So, we have converted the improper fraction into proper fraction. Okay. So, let 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2. Now consider it as equation number 2. Okay. Next. So we can write it as 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to. Now take the LCM of x minus 1 into x minus 2. Not into x minus 1, x minus 2, LCM of x minus 1, x minus 2 will be x minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay. So, LCM is x minus 1 into x minus 2. So, I'll get A into, since we are having X minus 1. So, you will include X minus 2 beside A plus B into, in the second term you are having X minus 2 in the denominator. So, you have to add, you have to include X minus 1 beside B. Okay. Now we can cancel x minus 1, x minus 1, x minus 2 and x minus 2. So we will get 3x minus 2 equals to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1. Okay. You can consider it as equation number 3. So how many equations we are having so far? 3. We are having 3 equations. Okay. So, I'll write all the three here. I just wrote all the three equations here. Okay. So, now we have to consider the equation 3. So, what is the equation 3? 3x minus 2 equals to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 3. Let's consider equation 3. Okay. So here you are having x minus 2 and x minus 1. Now let us consider x minus 2 equals to 0. Let x minus 2 equals to 0. Then you will get x equals to 2. Now substitute. x equals to 2 in 3, we get 3 into 2 minus 2 equals to a into 2 minus 2 plus b into 2 minus 1.
okay it is clear that 2 minus 2 is 0 so the part this becomes 0 so you will get 3 2s are 6 minus 2 equals to b into 2 minus 1 is 1 again 6 minus 2 is 4 equals to b so therefore b equals to 4 so we got the value of b okay so now we have to consider the value of a Okay, let x minus 1 equals to 0. x minus 1 equals to 0. Then x equals to 1. Now substitute. x equals to 1 in 3. We get 3 into 1 minus 2 equals to a into 1 minus 2 plus b into 1 minus 2. 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Then clearly this part becomes 0. So now 3 into 1 is 3 minus 2 equals to a into 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Since 3 minus 2 is 1, so 1 equals to minus 1 into a is minus a. This implies a equals to minus 1. So therefore a equals to minus 1 a equals to minus 1. Now, we are going to substitute the values of a and b in equation 2 and then we will replace 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 by this. Okay, let's see. Now, substitute a, b values in 2 okay then you'll get 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to you're having a equals to minus 1 right we are just replacing the values of a and b not replacing we are just substituting the values of a and b so a you're having a equals to minus 1 so you'll get minus 1 by x minus 1 plus b equals to 4 so you'll get 4 by x minus 2. So you can write it as 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 which is equals to minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 4 by x minus 2. Okay. Or this is equals to 4 by x minus 2 plus not plus minus right you're having minus minus 1 by x minus 1 okay consider it as um, equation number 4 so you're having 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to 4 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1 now you can Substitute 4 in 1. Okay. Now we are going to consider 1. So firstly let's write the equation 1. 1 implies x squared by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to 1 plus. 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Since 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to already are having right equation number 4. 4 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1. So now we are going to replace. Okay, so this equals to 1 plus 4 by x minus 2 
minus 1 by x minus 1. Simply we are replacing 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x minus 2 by 4 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1. So this is equals to 1 plus 4 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 1. Which is equals to x square by x minus 1 into x minus 2. So we have resolved an improper fraction to partial fractions. Firstly, we will reduce it to proper fraction and then we will resolve to partial fractions. Okay. Therefore, x squared by x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals to 1 plus, let's write the minus part, minus 1 by x minus 1 plus 4 by x minus 2. So, this completes the problem. Okay. So we have seen a problem in this video from partial fractions. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.